the SID Display Week and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is uh, Nashir Samnani, I'm the CEO of QuarkLogic. And uh, you're making this awesome, huge 42-inch e-ink device uh, that's, that's going very soon going to be in all these uh, um, offices right here, right? Well, we've been working hard uh, and uh, we partnered up with Inc. and uh, jointly we produced the world's largest 42-inch uh, e-writer. And uh, it's the largest uh, screen of its size on a battery and fully portable, which makes it uh, easy to actually move it around uh, and uh, flexible enough to take to any workspace that you actually want to work in. So hopefully all these companies are interested? We've got lots of interest actually and uh, CES uh, showed us uh, that uh, the interest level is actually uh, very high and the challenge we have right now is that demand is actually greater than supply and so we're working very hard to actually fulfill this plan. Hopefully e can uh, ship all these displays that you need, right? We are jointly working very hard to actually make sure that uh, we're stepping up on uh, on the uh, manufacturing and uh, getting all of those uh, products already. And, uh, and, and, and your software seems to be really awesome. Uh, already at CES and it's been improving. It has functionality and collaboration tools and everything. Yes, absolutely. So just a uh, little bit of our background uh, uh, you know in our previous company we had uh, created a collaboration product uh, in a company called illuminate and uh, illuminates technology was actually launched for education and 30 percent of, of our clients happen to be corporate clients and when we went into the corporate environment we realized that neither our uh, technology nor anybody else's collaboration technology was actually fully solving all of the issues in a corporate environment and uh, the team actually when we started our new company went back to that uh, gap and realized that the big issue was that it wasn't just software, but it was hardware as well. And so we had to do a hardware-software combination to come up with the uh, right product. And so we've got the hardware based on the 42-inch e-ink screens that we've helped develop. And then we've got an ecosystem in the background that takes the complexity of collaboration and, and hides all of that complexity in the background so that the technology fades into the background and the emphasis and the, and the focus is on, on the engagement. Because uh, I'm very, very enthusiastic about large uh, e-ink displays with, uh, with touch, with stylus input and all that. But it's so important to have easy, simple collaboration software on it. Right. Otherwise, the device is not going to be used. Absolutely. You know, you could have the best hardware uh, device, but if you don't have software that actually brings it alive and does the magic for you, it's, uh, it's uh, probably not going to be used as often as you want it to be used. And so we focused uh, deliberately on uh, making sure that the software behind the scenes actually does the magic in a way that takes the com complexity and hides it in into the background. Uh, and uh, hopefully with all this interest, uh, I mean, you're ramping up, of course, you need to get your number one product, 42 inch, but could be different sizes, I'm just saying. But I, I don't want to ask uh, what's going to happen in the future, but uh, there's all these amazing 10.3 inch, 13.3 inch, like smaller ones. Yes. They could be running your software. Yeah, well, so this is why I talk about the software as an ecosystem. It's been designed right from the outset to make sure that uh, all of the complexity of uh, the engagement is actually captured in the ecosystem and it becomes uh, size agnostic, it becomes uh, uh, market uh, agnostic so that you can actually have very specific applications running on it and you can have uh, different sizes ac actually working together in tandem. Here in 2017, so. hopefully 2018, there'll be a whole bunch of these that'll have your products. We are working very hard. In fact, we've got a long list of potential customers that are already lined up that uh, actually want to put it into buildings like this. Here in Los Angeles is perfect for you, the target market. Anyone who has a whiteboard should consider using uh, yeah, you know, the interesting thing is that with, with uh, uh, all of these uh, technologies that have uh, been developed for the uh, boardrooms and for meeting spaces, these technologies are new, not new technologies. They've been around for 10, 15 years. And uh, one of the questions that we were uh, wrestling with was that almost in every boardroom that we went into, we realized that even in a boardroom that actually spent $100,000 or $200,000, they still had whiteboards and flip charts. And when the engagement actually happened, the, the live brainstorming and the ideation actually happened, people did not go to technology. They actually went to these whiteboards and started to work on the whiteboards. And so the question we were asking was, why hasn't technology actually replaced this? And we realized that uh, technology actually uh, tends to interfere with ideation, uh, live ideation. Uh, your brain tends to engage a little bit differently with, when you're actually 
uh, brainstorming and, and ideating in a way where, which is very, very fluid. And sometimes te technology tends to get in the way of that. And so what we needed to do is to design technology that literally is walk up and use ready. It's always on. You don't have to turn it on. You don't have to configure it. Uh, it just works. It's, it just works and it's flexible and actually uh, allows you to do what you need to do with it. I'm thinking if companies are renting amazing offices up there, right? Uh, they should get their whiteboard towards the window and use this amazing light and it's inspiring to get towards the window and not be in a dark room. Well, you're right. Yeah, so, so uh, the beauty of the kind of screens that we've developed is that uh, they are reflective screens. You can actually work right inside the boardroom and on a beautiful day like today, you can actually pull the device off the wall because it's fully flexible and bring it out here and put it on one of the portable stands and continue to work and it'll just continue to perform. Take it back into the room and uh, hang it back onto its uh, easy clasp uh, uh, wall units and uh, it's back uh, in its place. Because every moment spent by all the employees in the company is important that they feel inspired and not feel uh, locked in somewhere where it's not so interesting. Right. It needs to be a... Right. You, see, you actually make a good point. Um, you know, uh, the creative process doesn't necessarily take place right in front of a, a, a device that is nailed to the wall or chained to a wire. It could happen anywhere. And you want, you want to be able to capture bright ideas in real time you want to save it, uh, you want to manage it, you want to recall it, you want to continue to build on it, you want to develop it with uh, team members that might not be in the room with you. And you want to do it in a fluid way. You don't want the technology actually di dictate how all of that actually happens. And uh, what we've tried to do with uh, Quilla, uh, our product, is to bring that fluidity in a way that actually enables all of that creative process. And shipping very soon, for real? Yes, uh, we are uh, shipping in July. And the uh, price is good, or you, you we, haven't said yet? Yes, we will be announcing the price uh, very soon. Uh, and we've got uh, our big launch at Infocom uh, in uh, June. And so all of the big announcements for price and everything else will be happening there.